everyone. Let's get started. So, today, we're going to talk about intimacy. And that doesn't just mean sex. <laughs> intimacy is about trusting someone enough to share your innermost secrets with them. Your partner can't know what your needs are unless they really know who you are. So these are your partner awareness profiles. And they're going to be your homework for this week. They have been specifically designed to reignite your curiosity about one another. You know, most couples end up here because they've passed through the phase of physical attraction and now they need to find an emotional one. So think of this work as a way to shed your secrets you in the same way you once shed your clothes. Okay. Who wants to go first? Great. Let's hear from our new couple. Everyone, this is Wes and Travis. Travis. Yes. Great. Hi. Hey. Hey, Travis. Guys, why don't you tell the group how long you've been together? Five seven years. years. We've known each other for seven years. We've been partners for five years, which is what she was asking. You know what? Let's start. First question. Uh, Wes, how did Travis get his name? Travis was adopted. So I doubt he even knows. I wasn't adopted, okay? I grew up in foster care. Oh, man. Huh, Travis, how did you get your name? Uh, Dr. Ryan's asking you, not me. Say, I was right. He doesn't know. Nobody knows. Sad. Alex knows. We're not going to talk about Alex. Alex who? Alex. Nothing's off limits in here. Who's Alex? No one. Wes's ex. Oh, uh, well, yeah, yeah, exes are always the problem. She found me on Facebook. Who found you on Facebook? Wes, did you and Alex try a couple's therapy? No, no, we, we didn't need therapy, and, and frankly, we don't need therapy either. Do you see a pattern here? Weren't we talking about why no one wanted to adopt Travis? You know, in my experience, critical people are often just trying to keep the world at arm's length particularly the ones they love, because they don't think that they deserve their affection. Mm. Wow. That's, that's so you. No, no Dude, that's gotcha. absolutely not that's me. That's you. That's him. And you, Travis, I suspect you have no problem charming your way into pretty much any situation. <laughs> but I wonder if you have trouble sustaining meaningful relationships. Nail them. We voted for your proposition. Mm. Well, thank you. What? Wait, what? Are you married? You think we're gay? They're partners. No, we're partners. They're police partners. Detectives. Oh, yeah, like the village people? <laughs> <laughs> OK. OK, you know what we need? We need a de-inhibitizing exercise. Let's play Have You Ever. No, can we play uh, What's In Your Pocket? Oh, yeah. What's Fear and a hat. Fear and a hat. OK, that's the one. Yes. OK, Stand up. Yeah. On your feet. Wes? No? Maybe you'd like to hear Travis tell us some more about Alex. Ooh. There was this one time. Mm -hmm. Okay, face each other. Toes touching. Actually touching. Both toes. Both toes. That's it. Great. We gotta go. Ooh, sorry, Dr. Ryan. Okay. Don't forget your questionnaire. Why do they get to leave? Can't believe we're doing this. Well, we wouldn't have to if you hadn't pulled your gun on me. Well, I wouldn't have pulled my gun on you if you learned to apologize. I didn't do anything wrong. You know what? Just shut up. You never want to talk anymore, you know that? What is it about shut up you don't understand? I'm not getting the car. You get in the car. Wipe your feet first. Hey, your car's running your life. This car's all I got left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Homicide unit two responding to body found in MacArthur Park. Copy that, homicide. Feet off the dash. Question number one Where did you meet your partner? That's easy. Sharp shooting competition, I won. No, I won. And we're not doing that stupid questionnaire. 
Wes, I think we should give Dr. Ryan a chance. She seems really smart. And she gets us, you know? Oh, my God. Why don't you give it up? Give what up? She's way out of your league. Is that what you think? You think I hit on our therapist? I have a girlfriend. Oh, yeah? Who? Question number two. Couples counseling. Yeah, right. For real? Yeah, we wanted to find the magic again. Does that work? Because my wife keeps saying that we need counsel. Now all of a sudden, I'm a sex addict because I want to do it more than once a month. Now maybe the wife and I should join your group. You definitely should. Doing wonders for us. So what do we got? Victims of white male John Doe. Defensive wounds on his hands. Puncture wounds on his chest and neck. Another homeless junkie looking for a score got the sidewalk special. Well, that's an interesting theory. Except this guy wasn't killed here. He's lying on his stomach, but this lividity on his back indicates he was moved. And he's not homeless either. These are brand new designer jeans. And look at his nails, huh? Manicured. You're right about the white male part, though. Keep up the good work, Flash. I'll make Detective in no time. How do you work with this guy? One therapist said it's because I'm attracted to abusive relationships. Thank you. Found the murder weapon. What's that say, scouts? Let me guess. No witnesses. Oh, I'm sure there are, but no one's talking. Yeah, that would be bad for business. You know, when I was a kid, grew up in a neighborhood like this, this rich guy crashed his car. By the time the ambulance showed up, his rims, his radio, his wallet, his wedding band. Everything gone. Getting the wingtip? I don't know, but they're definitely not his. You can outrun me in those shoes. Hi there. How are you? Take it easy, you little maniac. All you in trouble now. All you in trouble now. What's this? Cell phone, man. I didn't even do anything, man. If you're the guy for his shoes, I'd have killed anyone. He's lying. Let's shoot him. Travis, you cannot shoot him. He ran from the crime scene. He's wearing the victim's shoes. I'm betting after I shoot him, we'll find evidence. And if not, we'll plant evidence. I'm putting in the untraceable Ooh, bullets. You just, 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 just chill out, man. OK, Lilo, all I did was take his cell phone and in his wallet. He didn't even have any money in it. <sighs> all right, turn around. Put your hands on your head. Stealing things from dead people? Yuck. I swear you cops are worse than criminals, man. Cell phone's toast. Toby Whitaker. 
Your son, I just wanted you to know how proud I am of you, like Dad. Chief Judge Whitaker. Our victim's the son of a judge. We already got a few leads we're following up on. Just because you're the first ones to roll up doesn't mean you're necessarily going to get the case. The victim is the son of a federal judge. Which means you need the case off. Fast. And it means I need two detectives who are capable of following the rules and won't object to each other's testimony in court. Uh, we're not even like that anymore, Cap. Right, Wes? Yeah, right. Really? Because I heard about your session today. Doesn't seem to me like you guys are making much progress. Captain, that is a violation of our doctor-patient confidentiality. Don't give me that lawyer crap, huh? You have no rights. You gave him up when you pulled your gun on your partner. Captain Wes is learning to express himself more constructively. Right, Wes? Right. right. And Travis is learning to apologize. Right, Travis? Anytime I do something wrong. We, uh, we can't thank you enough for sending us to therapy, Captain. Why do my two best detectives have to be the biggest pain in my ass. Hi. Were you interrupting something? Yes, you are, but come on in anyway. Yeah, the captain needs you two to help him pick out a new color for his office. <laughs> it's hilarious. Stow it. Hmm? The DA wants to put Gooden and Scott on this case. Oh, what? Hmm. You're going to give this case to Cagney and Lacey. Look, you just said we're your two best detectives. Yeah, but the DA does not agree. You need to learn to trust. Exactly. What's the point of putting us in therapy if you're not going to give us a chance to prove we've changed? How can we forge a meaningful relationship if you don't allow us to self-actualize? You guys are psycho-babbling sociopaths. You know that? Oh, well, thank you. Yeah. My partner and I promise to weigh your input carefully. <laughs> what, are we in junior high now? That was a tough six years for you, wasn't it, Brady? <laughs> shut up. <laughs> all right, you all shut it. All right, I'm going to put you on this case. Thank you. But you have to take this therapy seriously. Absolutely. No doubt. And that doesn't mean just say what I want to hear. Never. Nope. Therapy's hard work, and it takes a lot of time. It took me years to realize that I joined the Marines at 16 just because my old man wouldn't hug me. And that showing affection did not mean I was a homosexual. Or that anger was never really the first good reaction. Even when the old lady took up with the, uh... Cap, we don't need all the details. I still can't believe you didn't kick her ass out. Uh, it had to be. It was, it was my own fault. It, it brought us closer. It made me a more attentive lover. Mm. The scouts started handing these out in 1911 as an award to their highest achieving members. I've seen all sorts of knives used as murder weapons. Steak knives, Ginzu knives, Bowie knives, but never a scout knife. It's ironic. It's poetic. We'll be sure to tell the killer how much you appreciate his symbolism. But in order to do that, we're going to need some actual scientific evidence to get you. I was getting to that. Wow, your partner doesn't understand foreplay, does he? What was that? What? That. Travis, you didn't tell him. I told him. No, you didn't. So now you know. No, I don't know. Yes, you do. No, I don't, because you still haven't said anything. Travis, just tell him. He knows. He's, he's not as dumb as he looks. We're dating. There. <laughs> you happy? Now, can we please try and stay focused on the case? I don't know. Can we? Miss Sandoval, please, continue. Thank you. According to the RFLP DNA analysis, the blood on the knife did belong to Toby Whitaker. As far as the prints go, the killer did a pretty good job of wiping the blade down. However, I did find a partial on the base of the hilt. I ran it through the database, and it came up empty. So whoever else handled this knife doesn't have a criminal record. OK, thank you. Oh, you want to uh, give her a kiss before we go? You know I hate it when you date women at work, right? Yeah, but she's hot, right? She's hot. Wow. Where else am I supposed to meet girls, man? Everyone I meet is either dead a suspect or under arrest. Don't be like that. I really like her. Uh-huh. She could be the one. This week. Ooh, don't be a hater because I know how to move on. I've moved on. You haven't dated anyone in over a year and a half. Other than Toby, Judge Whitaker has a son named Zach. 
He lives here at home with his dad. What about the mom? Died five years ago. Cancer. Boy, here we go. Oh boy, they like roaches. Ooh. Channel 2 has a new reporter. Hey, how you doing? She's cute. Don't you have a girlfriend? Uh, I was thinking for you. Don't ever do any thinking for me. It's not like I hadn't imagined this a thousand times. Toby had been addicted to heroin for years. Finally bottomed out and agreed to go into rehab. Did he complete the program? Yes. He, uh, uh, he transitioned into sober living nine months ago. When was the last time you talked to Toby? Three days ago. Zach and I went to visit him on family day at the sober house. Hmm. Where is Zach? Can we speak with him? He went for a drive. He does that when he gets upset. Last time he saw his brother, they get into a fight. Is that Zach? Was Toby a scout when he was a kid? No. Zach was. Why? We found a scout knife at the scene. We think it was the murder weapon. Where was Zach the night before last? Well, are you suggesting that Zach is a suspect in his brother's murder? This is all just preliminary, sir. Don't patronize me, kid. I think I know a little bit about how the law works. Sir, we're just doing our job. Was well, Zach is innocent? He was here all night doing his homework, studying. I went to bed at 11. He was still studying when I got up at 6. That's a lot of homework. He has dyslexia. It takes him longer to tackle material. All right, listen to me. I know that I failed as a parent with Toby. But Zach is a good kid. And he would never do something like that. Can I help you, gentlemen? Hi, I'm Detective Mitchell. This is Detective Marks. Oh, I'm glad you're here. Who's in charge here? That'd be me, Vince West. This is Marcus Hunter, house security. You both live here? Marcus doesn't. I called him as soon as I realized Toby was missing. My company runs security for all the sober houses in the area. Hmm. You mind if we take a look around? See Toby's room? Follow me. The room has been left the way we found it. When's the last time anyone saw Toby? Two nights ago. He was in his room at 11, it lights out, but he wasn't here in the morning. Any idea where he might have gone? Usually when people disappear around here, it's because they're using again. In this case, heroin. Toby's father mentioned that he and his brother had an argument recently. I'm sorry, we don't disclose what goes down in therapy. His brother killed him. Gretchen. Toby's dead and Zach did it. You'll have to excuse Gretchen. She and Toby got pretty close. What did Toby and Zach fight about? The usual. Money, drugs. Zach told Toby he was tired of his crap. He said he wished he would just die and save the family the trouble. Well, I guess he got what he wanted. You and Toby were dating? No. Toby broke it off a long time ago. I don't care if you guys believe me. You can add jilted ex-girlfriend to the list of suspects. Hey, man, she's no threat. Believe me, I know scary ex-girlfriends. She's not the type. Oh, whoa, whoa. Zach, on the other hand, he did threaten to kill Toby. Emotions run high during those therapy sessions. People sometimes say things they don't mean. And sometimes people say exactly what they mean. Listen, man, Toby was an embarrassment to his family, and Zach, He's finally snapped. Mitchell here. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be right there. Found Zach. Alvarez. Where is he? Do, do, do. 
Don't come any closer, okay? I'll jump. You're not gonna jump. Nice, Travis. Dare him to jump. I'm just saying, if he was gonna jump, he would have jumped already. Don't listen to him, Zach. I'm Detective Wesley Mitchell. I'm Detective Travis Marks. Now, which one of us do you want to talk to, me or him? I don't want to talk to either of you. Hey, you want to tell my dad? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry first. Sorry for what? My brother's dead because of me. You should have picked a higher building. Travis. I'm just saying. Listen, you could live. You'd be a vegetable, but... Okay. I gotta talk to him. Okay. Now, he'd rather talk to me, all right? Okay, Zach. I'm listening. I need your help. Okay. You too. Come with me. You got your keys? Yeah. Listen, Zach. You can't jump. You can't do that to your father. You'll never get over that. Whatever you did, I'm sure your dad will forgive you. We had a bond. I should have trusted him. Who, your dad? Toby. He said that his dealer was going to kill him if he didn't give him the $5,000 that he owed him. But I could always tell him he was lying, and he was lying. Every time that he ever borrowed money from me before, it, it was for drugs. But this time, did you just give him the money, man? Zach. You should give him it to him because he's dead now, and it's all my okay, fault. Zach, Zach, Zach. I believe you. I believe you didn't kill your brother, all right? But if you jump, everyone's going to think you did. Why? Well, uh, we found the scout knife at the scene, and I think it was the murder weapon. Was that yours? Yeah. I, it was my knife, but I gave it to Toby. You have to believe me. I didn't kill him. I loved him. Come down from there and help us find his killer. Come on, Zach. Come down. Hasn't your father had a bad enough day already? It's all my fault. Look at me. It's not your fault. Don't think. Zach. 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 Talk him down. I told his drug dealer threatened to kill him unless he gave him $5,000. I don't buy it. Yeah, not a lot of dealers out there selling product on credit. So who's lying? Zach or Toby? Just ding my door. Travis, you you what? dinged it. What? You dinged it right here. Oh, that was all right here. No, it was not. Hey, hey, I don't think I drive. You ride a motorcycle. Admit you dinged the car door. You still thinking about that? It just happened. This is why we need Dr. Ryan. We should ask for private sessions. Yeah, I'm sure you would like a private session with Dr. Ryan. Indeed, I would. Who is, who is using my hand sanitizer? This is Wesley Mitchell's. Do you even know you're obsessive compulsive? Do you even know that you're pathologically incapable of apologizing? Your anal retentive. Your anal explosive. Wow, you, you just made that one up. I don't make things up, unlike you, Mr. I won the sharpshooting competition. I did. No, you did not. Yes, I did. No, you did not. So did so. So did not. <clears throat> you guys sound like my parents. Hey, Ellen. What is that? Uh, it's just a couple's questionnaire and asked for uh, two adjectives to describe your partner. I was having trouble till just now. Bag. Douche. Neither of those words are adjectives. I don't get it. You guys used to be so good together. What happened? We got to know each other. You don't know anything about me. That's why we have to do the couple's questionnaire. 
That is not why we have to do the couples questionnaire. Why don't you tell Ellen the real reason you'd like to do the couples questionnaire? Oh, the real reason. Go ahead. <clears throat> Captain's orders. <laughs> That's not it. Yes, it is. No, it is not. Okay, okay. Sorry I asked. Here. The guys managed to extract the data off Toby's damaged cell phone. Last number he called was at 3 or 4 a.m. before he was killed. I tried dialing it. It's disconnected. Okay. Find out how it used to belong to, how long it's been disconnected. Okay. I'll run it by the phone company. What's this number right here? Toby dialed it multiple times. That one belongs to a Dominic Santori. Dominic, Dominic, Dominic Santori. Randy used to talk about him. Randy? From Narcotics? Is there anyone here you haven't dated? <laughs> Funny testimony. He's a dog. He knows his own kind. So what are you two sniffing around narcotics for? We need a little help, don't we? We need a little help. Oh, goodness. Oh, my God. Dominic Santori owns a car dealership in Van Nuys. We believe he's smuggling heroin into the country through his cars, but our dogs have never been able to pick descent. So maybe Toby was telling the truth about owing a drug dealer money after all. What kind of cars does Santori sell? High-end ones. You know, Lamborghinis, Bugattis. Hmm. I always wanted to test drive a Lamborghini. You're an idiot. Oh, how much is that one? 750K. For that kind of money, I could buy three Camaros. And a house. This is a Lamborghini Murcielago. 670 horsepower, V12, 6.5 liter, only 4,000 of these produced. This, this is a work of art. I have been waiting for this car to come in for six months. Been waiting for it my whole life. Hey, Dominic Santori. All right, so listen, I got a red one out back. It's only a Gallardo, but uh, she's a pretty sweet ride if you want to give it a whirl. I'd kind of rather take this one out. Yeah, sorry. She's not street legal yet. We gotta change out the smog system first, federal law. Right, because you can't drive it with an illegal smog system. Right, and you know what? We wouldn't want them to break any laws. So how much is the car without all the drug stuffed in it? Who are you guys? Homicide. I wanna ask you a few questions about Toby Whitaker. Never heard of him. Why do they always say that? I don't know. Why did he call you seven times the week before he was murdered? Call him my lawyer. I see what you did, he's gonna lawyer up. Yeah, but your way wasn't working. Did Toby owe you money? Why is gonna hands? There we go. I don't see this. Yeah, what are you gonna do? You gonna you gonna shoot me? Well, why not? I mean, I have a gun. I shoot bad guys. It's just kind of what I do, you know? He's right. He does stupid stuff all the time. I'd answer his questions if I were you. I'm not answering anything. Hey, it's Dom. Give me Larry. Hey, is the smog system in the front or the back? Back. Larry, I got two cops down here. Excuse me. Like right or right? Here. No, it's lower. Lower? Okay. To the right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Dominic, I'm gonna give you one more chance. Did you threaten Toby's life? My lawyer wants your badge number. Okay. Tell him it's 911. Ah! No, 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 no. No, Larry, he didn't shoot me. The crazy cop just shot me in the car. Sprung a leak. Why? Larry, I'm calling you back. Listen, I will not press charges if you leave now. We can't do that. This is a crime scene. We have to impound this car now. No, I, I know my rights. That's illegal search and seizure. Well, this guy just violated penal codes 246, 417, and 594. Illegal display and discharge of a firearm without cause, not to mention vandalism. Now this car and its contents are evidence. Now, I assure you, this chowder head's gonna be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Excuse me. All right, fine. Look, I will tell you everything you want to know about Toby if we can, uh, you know, 
Forget about all this, huh? Let's hear it. At first, I had nothing to do with Toby's murder. Right? I wasn't even in town. Why was he calling you? He needed money. 5K. He asked you for the money? Did he say what he needed it no, for? No, but he sounded pretty desperate. He kept uh, looking back at the car he rolled up in. Now, there was someone inside waiting for him. I couldn't see who the windows were tinted. What kind of car was it? 69 Chevelle SS with uh, red flames. Oh, that's a nice car. That is a nice car. Did you give him the money? What do you think? He's the son of a federal judge. Thought it'd be a good idea to have him in my back pocket. Besides, Toby said he'd work it off washing cars. Where were you two nights ago? In a, in a car show in Phoenix. I didn't even get back until this morning. You can call the airlines. We will. So, uh, gentlemen, what do you say? Can we, uh, forget about all this, huh? Of course. We're homicide. What do we care about drug dealers? Excuse us. Randy. Yeah, it's Wes. Well, we got a sample for your dogs. You have to ask us out. I hate that guy. Santori said someone else was in the Chevelle with Toby. You gotta find that car. Drug dealer owns a classic car, and you know one thing's for sure. Spends a lot of time in the shop. Yeah, but there must be a hundred of these auto repair shops in town. Ooh. Yeah, not like this one, though. If there's any specialty part, this guy can get in it. If not, he knows somebody who can. Uh, Travis? You're looking for filler money. Who's looking? Tell him it's, uh, T-Bone. T-Bone? Yeah, T-Bone. T-Bone! What's up, boy? Put your guns down, fellas. It's my ooks. My foster brother. Look at you. Man, what are you doing coming around here on duty? I need your help. We gotta find a car. You should call Mama. She misses you, brother. I call her. Alright, sorry. Uh, my boy Tuck says he got some new panel skins for a 69 Chevelle with red flames. He says the owner told him it's been in the family for years. Okay, does Tuck have a receipt? Anything with a name, credit card number on it? Yeah, we're sort of a cash only industry. Uh, uh, enlarge that picture, please. License plate 385. Franklin, Charlie, Edward. Got it? Yep. Thanks, bro. Good night. The muffle fall, your oi. I miss you too, all right? Sole. Oh, ne inga lole asutina. How could I forget Mother's Day? It's the busiest day of my life. First, when I found out I was pregnant, I wasn't gonna tell Toby. But I couldn't work, so I needed money for medical bills and rent. Then when he saw the ultrasound, it's like he became an entirely different person. He said he finally had something to live for. Why didn't Toby tell his family about you and the baby? Well, he was going to, but he wanted to prove he could stay clean first. But the bills got out of hand, and I finally got an eviction notice. Toby said 
he knew where we could get the money. And that's when we went to go see Dominic. You drove him and waited in the car? Yeah. How much money did Dominic lend you? $5,000, but Toby was going to pay every penny back. So Toby didn't use any of that money for drugs? Drugs? Are you kidding? No. Toby wouldn't let anybody with drugs near us. He was determined to stay clean. You, uh, you mind if I try? Oh, come here, little buddy. Come here, buddy. Oh. DMV says the Chevelle, parked outside, is registered to a Clay Morton. This is my cousin. He's in prison. All right. It's just one more thing. Uh, do you recognize this number? The bottom. It's the last number Toby dialed before he was killed. No. Okay. Hey, how'd you do that? I have my share of, uh, Little brothers and sisters. St. Augustine needs fertilizer. I only agreed to share custody of the lawn because I assumed you'd have your own place by now. I'm looking. I think you like living in a hotel. Alex, you shouldn't put the boxes on the piano. Well, when you get your own place, you can have the piano. So what's wrong? Who says something has to be wrong? Well, you always obsess about the lawn when there's something bothering you. Thank you. So what is it? There's this kid. He's a suspect in his brother's murder. And I don't think he did it. I thought you and Travis were on probation. Yeah, well, Captain Sutton put us in couples therapy. Oh. So you would go to couples counseling with Travis? You wouldn't go with me? Well, I, it's not voluntary. And, and you and I didn't need therapy. We knew exactly what the problem was. You didn't want to be married to a cop anymore. <clears throat> I didn't marry a cop. I married a lawyer. Lawyers don't live their lives in the line of fire. I wish I didn't have to be a cop. And I wish you would stop blaming yourself for something that wasn't your fault. You were a good lawyer, Wes. People need good cops more than they need good lawyers. And if they need a good lawyer, they got you. Maybe this counseling will be good for you. Yeah, maybe. Hey, you know how Travis got his name? I mean, he said he told you. It's part of this, you know, this therapy stuff. The fireman who found him on the station steps named him after a Cabbage Patch doll left in his baby carrier. Travis the Cabbage Patch doll? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have told you. <laughs> no, it's good. That's good. It's good because it'll bring us closer together. Mm -hmm. I should go. Okay. I'll, um, I'll pick up some fertilizer for the lawn next time I come by. So, I think I got this thing pretty much all figured out. There's only one thing that's got me stumped. Yeah. Which one of your partner's physical features is he or she least happy with? I'm thinking it's your face. Uh-huh. Can we get serious? Because we got a case to focus on here. Cabbage patch. I made that up. <laughs> no, one, no one would make that up. Uh... What are you doing? 
Oh, just go on in, man. I'm, I'm just gonna hang out here and make up the phone call. You dated the corn? One night stand? Let me guess, you didn't call her after? This is why we don't date people at work. Now, come on. My report's not ready yet. Any preliminary results? Yes. Listen, Janelle, <clears throat> I was wondering, if you were gonna kill Travis... Wow. <laughs> you like it already? Yeah. How would you do it? Because I gotta tell you, I've been tossing this around a lot. I was thinking I could strangle him, which would be very satisfying, and then hang him, make it look like a suicide. Yeah, but your best bet would be poisoning. Insulin or potassium chloride, undetectable. You know, if, if I did turn up dead, you'd be the first person they'd come after, Wes. Oh, he's right. The safest thing would be to leave no corpse behind. That's right. Kind of no body, no crime. Could I squeeze him in a vat of acid? Or I have to chop him up first? You'd have to chop him up real uh, good. Okay, okay, you know what? I should have called. I, I'm, an, I'm a jerk. Did he just admit that he's a jerk? He's in therapy. Huh. You, come. Close to the body. Multiple stab wounds to the upper quadrant. Defensive wounds were noted on the right and the left hands. The left carotid artery was punctured. Cause of death? Massive hemorrhaging. The size and the depth of the punctures are consistent with the blade of the scout knife. What about Toby's tox screen? Diacetylmorphine positive. Mm, Toby was using heroin again. Oh, call me eludes you for diacetylmorphine. That just comes trippingly. Any indication how long ago Toby relapsed? I could only find one recent subcutaneous injection, you see. Huh, in his neck. Yeah, most junkies don't shoot up in the neck. Where'd Toby get the heroin? He didn't have any money, he gave the 5,000 Irene. Well, maybe Toby stole it. He was living in a house full of ex-junkies. I used to have this foster brother who was a you junkie. You look good. Thanks. It's good to see you. You too. All right, you still biking? Not as much. I do a lot of aerobics now, but thanks for noticing. Yeah, no problem. Keep it up. Yeah, good seeing you. Yeah, you too. I like aerobics. You're still here. Of course, it's possible. Wouldn't be easy. State law requires Marcus to conduct daily random searches. Residents here aren't even allowed to have cold medicine. What happens if you catch someone with narcotics? The resident is immediately removed off the premises, and then we call the police. I've seen Marcus remove people without anyone even noticing. You know, I... I always thought Toby was gonna be one of the ones that made it. He was a real inspiration. To all of us. Even me. You? I've been sober for... 15 years. For many of us, this place is a last chance in more ways than one. Like others here, I went to prison twice for my addictions. If any of us gets a third strike, I'm going to prison for good. It's a real motivator to stay sober. Uh, it just doesn't make any sense. If Toby was using again, Irene would have known. Maybe Toby wasn't using again. Maybe he's forcibly injected. Well, what would be the motive? Toby doesn't have any money. Zach is the only one with the motive. Gretchen has a motive. Maybe she's lying to us. You ever think about that? Maybe she knows about Irene and the baby. She's jealous. I keep telling you, Gretchen is not the jealous type. Let's see if she can sense to a fingerprint analysis. In fact, we should just, we should, we should fingerprint all the residents. I don't know. Where are you going? I'm gonna get something to eat. You're not, Travis, you're not eating in my car. Travis? Get napkins. Excuse me. I, 
Uh, I don't know if you know this or not, but you're blocking the handicap spot. Get lost. and stay down. Well, the thing is that you don't look handicapped. And someone might need to use the ramp, and you don't have one of those little placards, you know, little blue and white wheelchair. Here's my flagger right here. Boy, I don't think you're supposed to have that. Probably gonna have to call the police. Oh, they're here. Fool, you just put the cashier behind the counter. He's probably already called the police. And you can't rob a stove from in the back. It's my first time. Now shut up, get on the ground, and give me your gun, all right? I'm not giving you anything. And I'm robbing this place. No, you're not. Unless you want to go to prison for shooting a police officer. To hell, you're a police officer. Stay cool. You're not picking up your phone. She's in the middle of performing a robbery. What's she want? She says she found a match for the fingerprints on the scout knife. Toby's brother, Zach. Shut up. <laughs> What's this all about? Something tells me we're in trouble again. Sure, it's us. Well, what else is new? Travis! Hey. Is it true Zach Whitaker's a suspect in his brother's murder? What's your name? Travis. Would you tell that reporter Zach's a suspect? You really think I would do that? Well, I mean, something's going on. I saw the way she looked at you. Yeah, relax. She came by, nothing happened. Nothing happened? What's that, Rod? Like, like nothing happened with my car door, nothing happened? Hey, Rod. Don't forget about really. your car door already. I will, as soon as you admit you're the one who put the huge gouge in the side of it. Why can't you admit when you've Why? done something wrong? <laughs> 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 you don't admit What'd you say? She said, she I, said, she said, she said, she said I can't swim. <laughs> Glad to see you guys getting along. <laughs> the DA is on the way. Come on. Okay, look, let me do the talking here. That way we don't get an argument in front of the district attorney. Okay, good idea, except I should do the talking. Yeah, I agree, and we should do the talking. Flip a coin. No, Rochambeau. No, we, nobody knows what Rochambeau is. It's rock, paper, scissors. Everybody knows what rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Are you coming or not? Yeah, we're just, uh, you know, we're, we're agreeing on something. Heads or tails? Tails. Okay. Mike, my job is hard enough without your department selling off details of this case to the press. Good to see you too, Laura. You don't care that you have a leak? How do you know the leak didn't come from your office? Because the people in my office are professional or they're fired. Why are those two here? I put them on the case. I specifically asked for Scott and Gooden. Yeah, I know. You know, Laura, sometimes you are your own worst enemy. You need to solve this case, right? And Mitchell and Marks are the two best detectives I have in the entire department. Now sit down. Come on, please, huh? Don't you at least want to hear what they have to say? It's fine. Let me get that for you. Mine. Let's hear it. <clears throat> well, we're, uh, we're still working on a couple of theories. Did the print on the scout knife match Zach's or not? Yes. 
But uh, Zach already admitted that was his knife. He said he gave that to Toby as a gift uh, for agreeing to go to rehab. Well, then let's just take his word for it. Says here that you have a witness to a threat on Toby's life by Zach. It was more like I wish you would die than I'm going to kill you. Does Zach Whitaker have an alibi? He was studying all night. Is there a corroborating witness to that? Nothing that would hold up in court, no. So we have means, motive, opportunity, and no alibi. Why haven't we arrested this guy yet? Well, because we're still tying up several loose ends. I was asking Detective Marks. Because we still have several loose ends. Like what? Like, where did Toby get the heroin found in his system? Who was he trying to call before he was killed? The last number he dialed was disconnected. Toby was high. He was probably trying to call the Easter Bunny. Look, we don't know where Toby was killed. We don't even know where Toby went that night. Well, after we arrest Zach, we can interrogate him and find out. Uh, if you arrest Zach now, his lawyers are going to make sure that we get nothing. And you might just destroy that kid's future. Why don't you give us two more days to tie up these loose ends? I'm already being accused of giving the judge preferential treatment. I cannot afford to give him any more. I'm issuing an arrest warrant for Zach Whitaker. Based on what? Look, all the evidence you have is circumstantial. You do not have enough to get a conviction here, Laura. I'm the lawyer here, Detective Mitchell, not you. That doesn't give you the right to arrest someone just because you're being pressured by the media. I think you should shut up now. I think you should shut up now, because if you hadn't leaked any of this to the press, they wouldn't be pressuring her for an arrest. Whoa, 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 I didn't leak anything. I didn't leak anything to the press. Yeah, that's so like you not to admit when you did something wrong. It's just like you to jump to conclusions. Can I have a word with you, please? I am not jumping to conclusions. Hey! I... Thanks, boys. I want those two off this case and Detective Scott and Gooden on like I originally asked you. Way to get us kicked off the case. I got us kicked off the case? Yes. You're the one stupid reporters spilling information, using this precinct as your own private singles bar. They're fired. They're working out their problems in couples therapy. Couples therapy. Are you serious? You know what your problem is, Travis? Oh, I'm dying to hear what it is from you, Wes. I'll tell you what your problem is. No one wanted you. You're an orphan. You got dropped off on a doorstep somewhere, so now you're so desperate for attention, you're willing to sleep with anything with two legs. That's not my problem, Wes. Zach. You're my problem. Oh, me? I'm yeah. your problem. Oh, yeah. You wouldn't be able to solve one case without me. In fact, you'd probably wind up in prison because you got no respect for the law. And you're afraid to break a rule. Maybe put your ass on the line just once and do whatever it takes to make a bust like I did at that gas station today. It's amazing the fact that I was able to arrest my guy without firing a single shot. That's because your guy was outside and not inside about to shoot the clerk. You almost got the clerk killed. Mikey used to eat nails for breakfast. What happened to you? Therapy happened. And it's gonna help them. You put innocent lives on the line. And now because of your big fat mouth, an innocent person's probably gonna go to prison. Great job. That's great. Wow. You're the one that sent an innocent person to jail, not me. I'd shut up right now if I were you. Mm, I'm kind of just getting started. All I'm asking of you is just keep an open mind. I know that's hard for you. Channel 2, I'm standing here with Detective Brady Gooden, one of the lead detectives on the Whitaker murder case, with an exclusive update. Detective, what can you tell us? Well, Sandra, uh, while I can't divulge too much information, <laughs> uh, I can tell you that uh, we have a very, a very, very strong case, so we're, we're happy about that. Would you say the judge and his family have been cooperative then? The judge has been very cooperative. It's been, it's been really great. We're very excited where this is heading. We think we're going to uncover some really, some really great things. Detective, anything else you'd like Brady. to add? Yes, I'd really like to see how happy we are with the press. I'm a jerk. I wouldn't say that. 
Dr. Ryan. Make house calls. Captain Sutton called. Tell me you and Travis broke up. Do you want to talk about it? Look, you can go around and tell Captain Sutton that he tried, but that's that's it. That's it. We're done. I know why you quit law to become a detective. I know why you got divorced and why you're still living in a hotel nine months later. Captain gave you my personnel file. Travis is too. I didn't know that Travis was raised in 18 foster homes. Why aren't you bugging him? Because I knew you'd be alone. Tassie, can you double this? You want to hear my theory on what makes a lasting partnership? No. You don't have to like the same things, but you do have to hate the same things. And you both hate it when bad people get away with bad things. That's why you joined the police force. You could have joined any line of work. Your IQs are off the charts. But you both picked robbery homicide because it's where you think you can make the most difference. Travis has a high IQ. You are so alike. It's why you fight. You're like brothers. Mm. Not all brothers are alike. Sometimes they're very different. Sometimes one has zero coping skills, becomes a heroin addict. The other one overcomes dyslexia and becomes a scout. Is dyslexia hereditary? It's a neurobiological condition that's genetic in origin. Yes. Thank you. I'm glad we had this talk. So am I. I gotta talk to Travis. Okay, you might want to apologize first. Never! Right. Yeah, I'll take that. Are you ready for me to unwrap your gift? Can we unwrap those, please? Why don't we unwrap you first? Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. Hey, Travis! Go away! Look, I got a new lead on the Whitaker murder. Toby was dyslexic. So what? So what? That's what we've been missing. The calls that Toby made the day he died, they were all kept on a speed dial except for that last number, that disconnected number. He must have dialed that number himself. He transposed the digits. We're tracking the wrong number. What are you sure? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention to him. Travis, we, we broke up, remember? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, OK? I, I know that you didn't talk to that reporter, and I need your help. Travis? 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 You really sorry? <clears throat> yes. Brady was the leak. I tried. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't, but I did. Did you embroider Travis's name on your new black panties? No, I did. What? I did. You're gonna dump her anyway. You know, she kind of was hinting at moving in together. You see? You see now? I did you a favor. Did you a big favor. Now, come on. You gotta put your shoes on. We gotta go. We gotta borrow one of Randy's dogs. Why? Why? I'll tell you why. Because I had Pac Bell run that number through all possible combinations of digits. And then I cross-referenced those with actual working numbers. And guess whose number came up? All Eyes Security. Marcus Hunter's company? That's right. Toby wasn't using again. But he caught someone that was, and he tried to call Marcus to report him. But he couldn't before someone killed him. It's a theory. Come on, Kevin. I like it. We, no, we should, we should, we should call Marcus. Right? He did that. It's gonna meet us at the sober house. Come on, come on. All right. I'm really excited. No, I know. I know. So, who's using? First, we need your permission to let our dogs search the premises. You got that authority? Yes, I'm authorized by the courts. What's going on? Random search. Let's get everyone out of bed. OK, well, let's wake them up. All right, let's do your thing. Wake up.
Hey, hold on. Whose room is this? Vince's. Where's Vince? Cover the exits. Watch the dog, watch the dog. Is this the only exit? I hope so. some good shooting. Thank you, partner. No, me, good shooting. Yeah, but, uh, but I shot him. You shot, I shot him. Yeah, I aimed for his right shoulder, his Let's driving shoulder. Ow. Which one of us shot you, me or him? Who cares, I'm dying. Shut up, you're not dying, I just winged you. No, 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 see, I winged him right there. Ow. No, that is not you, Ow. you did not do that. Ow. Your bullet didn't even come close. Who knows what it hit? Whatever it was, I'm sure it was something expensive. 10 bucks, ballistics confirms that this bullet is my That's gonna bullet. be the easiest 10 bucks I ever made. I shot him in his driving You're shoulder. dating someone in ballistics. Good. I, I should have said that a long time ago. Okay, so Toby walks in on Vince, catches him using, runs back to his bungalow to call Marcus. But Vince chased him. I'm sorry, did I interrupt? No, 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 no. Go ahead. I like the way you tell the story. Oh, you were doing fine. No, go you're a really good storyteller. Go ahead. Someone please just tell me what happened. Okay. So Vince had already done time in prison. He had two strikes against him. One more conviction for possession, and he's going back to jail for life. So Vince has to stop Toby from turning him in. Right, so he grabs the closest weapon he has on hand, which is a hypodermic of what? Heroin. May I? Thank you. So he chases Toby to his bungalow. Where Toby is busy misdialing Marcus's number. He charges into the room and stabs Toby with a hypodermic needle. But Toby fights back. To protect himself, he grabs that scout knife his brother Zach gave him. But the heroin had already taken its hold. So it was easy for Vince to get the better of Toby, and he killed him with his own knife. Then transports Toby's body in the Valley View van. In which we found evidence of a pool of Toby's blood. Drops the body and the knife off at the park. Because Vince knows, hey, that's where the junkies go to score. Vince is back at the sober house in time for pancakes. Did we leave anything out? No, that's everything. Nice work, detectives. Thank you. Well, I guess I owe you an apology. You don't need to apologize. You can pay for the damages to my car. I was talking to Captain Sutton. Uh, Laura, there's no apology necessary. Uh, I was just doing my job. No, you weren't. You disobeyed a direct order. But you stuck by your guys, and they saved my neck. Yes, they did. So thank you. Thank you, Laura. And you two. You sure as hell better not argue with each other in court when this goes to trial. No, no, we're way past that, right? Right. Right. Do you want to tell us what you found out about Travis this week? You mean T-Bone? That's his nickname, T-Bone. T-Bone used to be a car thief. I was not. Spent some time in juvie for it. Those records are sealed. Turns out one of his foster fathers was this deadbeat dad. So T-Bone here stole his car, and the old man never missed a child support payment after that. Wow. Did money tell you that? Oh, and money is one of his foster brothers. He's this big Samoan guy. Scary. Uh, did you find out how he got his name? Ah. Thank you. Yes. Uh, the fireman who found Travis named him after a Cabbage Patch doll. <laughs> that's funny, man. That's, that's so not true. It's true, but he'd never admit that. Well, you think I'd tell Alex the truth? I mean, it, I knew she'd tell you. It's a joke. It's a joke, Jimmy D. You know, joke. So, because um, last week you said that Alex did know how you got your name. So I'm curious, did you lie to her or to us? Hmm. <laughs> You know, can I do West now? Uh, all right, his favorite color is green. No, I don't have a favorite He's color. He's obsessed with his lawn, and he likes to water it every time he gets upset like a weirdo. I'm talking about um, talking now. He was like one of the youngest partners at his law firm. You're a lawyer? Well, no, not anymore, because he quit to become a cop. 
but he still has like a ton of money and he likes really nice cars. We're not allowed to talk to Alex anymore. Just because you divorced her doesn't make her not my friend. Uh, I, I don't know. Everyone knows that you have to choose sides in a breakup. Thank you. I choose Alex. So, so what happened between you and Alex? Did you cheat on her? Um, maybe she cheated on him. Mm -hmm. There was no. Would cheat. you cheat on him? Can we please talk about something else? Let's play one of. Let's play one of Dr. Ryan's games. Let's play Fear of My Pants. What's in my pants? I got. Uh, I got. Uh, I got a gun. Got a gun in my pants. Wes, put the gun away. I got this shiny badge here. What, who, who wants to go next? Look what I got in my pocket. A phone. Travis, put the phone away. She's not only am I not gonna stop speaking to Alex. I think I'll call her right now. Better not. Travis, do not call me. Call my her phone. house and put her on speaker. Doctor, this is inappropriate behavior. Travis, give me my phone. Hold on. Travis, Travis, or my favorite color is blue. This season on Common Law. You ready? Me? You're the one with all the people skills, not me. I told you that. You tell me that every day. He's gonna shoot! Travis, you didn't get shot. Shot at. Oh, hello. Big difference. You will end up learning about each other, whether you want to or not. We don't really do the learning. Yeah, it's kind of an unwritten rule in our thing. That's why you're here. We're working on stakeout. How's it going? It's been great. Travis is the worst roommate anyone has ever had. You yes, so. so guys, I'll see you tomorrow, yeah? No. What? Well, whenever a couple joins group, I always spend a day observing them. We can't do our jobs with her watching us, judging us. Stop flirting with her. She has a boyfriend. Do you want to know why I have to pay such attention to the rules, Travis? It's because I'm partnered with a maniac. You want to know what that's like? What are you doing, man? Kind of scary not knowing what your partner's going to do next, isn't it? Whoop, whoop, whoop. Common Law, a new original series, Fridays at 10 on USA. Characters welcome. This is our chance to stand out. This man's innocent. Then make your case. Think bigger. We got a reputation to maintain. Ready to roll. Let the games begin. That was pretty badass, wasn't it? Suits. All new season. Thursday, June 14th at 10 on USA. Characters welcome.